water. In our modern world, it's taken for granted, but not by the folks in the countrysides of East Tennessee. Here, where there's no city plumbing to bring water where it's needed, for homes, gardens, and livestock, it has to be found. Lee Hill knows how to find it. Lee is a water witch man. Do you call yourself a water witch? Well, I, I reckon I would. I believe in it now. I, I didn't used to believe in it too much myself. Lee doesn't know why he's able to find water. He just knows his method works. I never have missed it so far. I've always heard said that a uh, body has to have so much electricity for it to work right. And the first step is to cut a branch off a nearby dogwood or cherry tree. Then Lee starts to walk pray, and feel the vibrations from the earth. When you get close enough to that water, that stick will start pulling over. You've got to give to that stick, and the closer you get, the further down it goes. And when you get right over that water, or it'll go right straight down to the ground, if you let it. And watch it. All right. There's water right here under us. So my fingernails would peel the bark off of them sticks as it go around. I never do show this trick, because ain't nobody gonna believe it. <laughs> they, they say, that's foolishness. <laughs> do you think it is? No, I really don't. I think I can follow a stream of water. If you put that in your mouth there, that thing will go toward where the water runs? Yeah. Why don't you show that to us? We had quite a sizable investment here already. We had to have water. We had to have water from someplace. We were desperate for it. Ernest Meadows is convinced of Lee's ability. After digging several dry wells, his Anderson County pig farm was in bad shape, so he called on Lee. I said, I gotta have a well that supplies 10 or 15 gallons a minute. So he looked over the area, I showed him the area, he walked over it, I left him alone, I come back in a few minutes, and he said, I got you two of them. The well drillers came, and of course they were really ribbing me and horse laughing about it. And all of a sudden, the, the well uh, the dr well drill just started shaking all over it. And uh, it started picking the whole well drill up and just shaking it like that. It was picking it almost up off the ground, you know. And we ran off out about 100 feet, and, and about that time the water just hit the sky. You know, it was water, the biggest gusher I've ever seen. I believe it's a gift from God. I think it's just a gift that he gave me to help people out. When I go up there to find your uh, water, I generally ask the Lord to help me. I'm so far you over there. Every time Lee's instincts have told him that water was nearby, they've been right. Is this a spiritual gift for the benefit of mankind or just a ritual? Lee Hill doesn't care what other people think. All he cares about is finding water. And he says it's right here. That's right. For the Heartland Series, I'm Bill Landry in Anderson County.